Call a meeting to order and ask. Uh, hello, hello. The lady, turn them on. It's on. It's on. It's on. Would you do our prayer for us, please, sir? David. <laughs> Good morning. It's good to see everyone. I trust that everyone had a uh, good weekend. I hope so. Mayor, uh, Mayor, sorry, I'm used to saying that. <laughs> Judge Kim, uh, Kelton, uh, commissioners, uh, other folks that are here, uh, elected officials. Uh, I say again, one of the things I'm always saying is thank you for what you do. And the public appreciates the fact that you have taken on the responsibility of running this county. So we're going to ask God this morning to bless you as you continue in that endeavor. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you have given us these men, these women, these support staffs, Lord God, to take care of the business of Brown County. Each of the precincts, Lord, the various offices, the various positions, Lord. We thank you that you have placed those where they are. Father, we thank you that you have placed the people that you want in those positions, Lord. Father, we pray that you give them all wisdom and guidance as they seek you. Father, we pray for a blessed day for our county. We ask these things in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Dave. Yes, sir. Do you have any citizens' no, comments? No, no, that's county That's scandal. Sharon? I don't know. Are there any there are no, there are no, there are no, there are no there are citizens' comments, correct? There are no citizens no, here. Not so. that I'm okay. Well, then we'll proceed to item four consideration approval of minutes from November 12th, 2019. Is there a motion to approve the minutes? No, to approve the minutes. What was that, was it? November 12th. November 12th. As presented. Second. All in favor? Raise your right hand. Okay, there we got that done. Are there any treasurer or auditor's report that we need to take action on today? I don't think there are, are there? Mm, no. Okay. no. So, we're going to do bills to the last, I believe. Is that all right with you? Because right. I haven't even looked at them yet. So, we'll... Step into 7A, which is Larry Franks, Elections Administrator, Canvas, November 5th, 2019, Special Election. Morning, Larry. Thank you, minutes. I see how much I didn't even see. Excuse me? That's an all that kept flaws I didn't even see. There you go. I'm going to get on it. Yeah, the floor, Mr. Franks. Thanks. This, <clears throat> this was the election that we had back on November the 5th. So, canvas the election. Item number one, state of, or state of Texas Proposition number one, the constitutional amendment permitting a person to hold more than one office as a municipal judge at the same time. In absentee voting, there were 35 votes for, 36 against. Early voting, 499 for, against 714. On election day, 1,066 for, 1,712 against. And total 1,600 for, 2,462 against. That motion failed. State of Texas Proposition Number Two: The Constitutional Amendment providing for the issuance of additional general obligation bonds by the State of Texas Water Development Board in an amount not to exceed 200 million to provide financial assistance for the development of certain projects in economically distressed areas. In absentee voting, there were 45 for, 28 against. In early voting, there were 738 for, 460 against. On election day, there were 1,672 for, 1,081 against. 
and the total 2455 for 1569 against that motion passed. Keep in mind these are results for Brown County only. All right. I didn't research the statewide to see what happened to who, what, when, where, why. Proposition number three. Number three. Three. Well, I don't know what I did with three. Well, it's got 57 for and 15 against an absentee, 1,024 for and 181 against an early yes, voting. Sir. And then on election day, 2,297 for and 473 against for a total of 3,378 for and 669 against. And I would say that that one passed. Have you found yours yet? It did, sir. No, sir. I, I couldn't find the, the name or the instruction page. I know number four was the one about yeah. voting for or against uh, state tax. Right. And in early voting, there were 63 for, 10 against. Early voting, there was 1,105 for, 116 against. Um, election day, there was 2,498 for, 326 against. And in total, 3,666 for, 452 against. The motion passed, which means there won't be a state income tax. So, number five was a constitutional amendment dedicating the revenue received from the existing state sales and use tax that are imposed on sporting goods to the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department and the Texas Historical Commission to protect Texas natural areas, water quality, and history by acquiring, managing, and improving the state local parks and historic sites while not increasing the rate on state sales and use tax. And number five, four and early in absentee voting was 59, against was 15, and early voting 1,053 against 164 on election day 2,406 for 383 against for a total of 3,518 for and 562 against that motion passed. Text proposition number six, the constitutional amendment authorizing the legislature to increase by three billion the maximum amount bond authorized uh, for the Cancer Prevention and Research Institute of Texas. Number six, in absentee voting, there were 51 for, 22 against. Early voting, 721 for, 476 against. On election day, 1,651 for, 1,104 against. For a grand total of 2,423 for, and 1,602 against. That proposition passed. Did it to myself again. Oh, I got the odd pages. <laughs> number seven. Uh, number seven. Uh, on absentee voting, there were 49 for, 23 against. Early voting, 852 for, 355 against. On election day, 2006 for, and 780 against for a grand total of 2,907 for, and 1,138 against. That proposition passes. Eight two, proposition number eight. Uh, on absentee voting, there were 55 for, 18 against. Early voting, there was 863 for, 343 against. On election day, 1,923 for, 828 against. And a grand total of 2,841 Four and 1,189 against. Proposition number eight passed. Proposition number nine, a constitutional amendment authorizing the legislature to exempt from ad valorem taxation precious metals held in a precious metal depository located in the state. Uh, absentee voting, there were 29 for, 43 against. Early voting, there were 706 for, 480 against. Election day, 1,505 for, 1,210 against, for a total of 2,240 for, and 1,733 against. That proposition passed. 
and number 10, the constitutional amendment to allow the transfer of a law enforcement animal to a qualified caretaker in certain circumstances. Uh, Absentee voting 74, 3 against. Early voting 1,158, 4, 54 against. Election day 2,635, 4, 161 against. For grand total 3,863, 4, and only 218 against. That proposition passed. Uh, does that, does that mean that they, well, in Brown County, we have service animals. And so if the service animal gets to the age that he needs to retire, that a law enforcement personnel could uh, adopt. Yes, I guess it is the right place to adopt the animal. Okay. I just want to follow up on that. Otherwise, that's the the reading of the <coughs> canvas. So only one failed and the one that <coughs> the last one passed by the biggest percentage. Right, right. Uh, Brown County followed the state because that's exactly what the statewide did. Okay. Proposition one failed and everything else passed. I think the main concern on that number one was they were wondering if, you know, it, it, it didn't explain whether or not the person would get a salary in each county or whether the salary would be prorated. It was municipal judges, so it's not county. Okay. It, the city. City. Right. City judges. But I think that was that was the main concern, not knowing if he was going to get paid by each city or you know, the whole salary by each city or if it was going to be prorated. That may have been one. That was one concern that was expressed to me by a voter. Well, I'm not remembering sure what the what the wording would be on this one right here because we're canvassing the votes, so what action do we take on this? We just approve the canvassing. We just approve it. We approve the canvassing of the votes? Approve it. Okay. He gives us the unofficial to look at, and then he gives me the official. I move we approve the canvassing of the votes in November 5th, 2019. All in, any more discussion? All in favor? Uh, there's that item. And thank you very much, Larry. Thank is there anything for us to sign on that one, or is that it? No. It's not. Okay. That brings us to uh, the, the find the high sheriff who's been out of pocket for a while. Yeah, I've got to some more now. Sailing the high seas or something. I don't know what mm -hmm. uh, Item B is a uh, Vance Hill County Sheriff authorization to accept donations. I have uh, two checks, one from Ann Jones Real Estate. It's in the 100, for $150. And I have a check from Blevins Body Shop also for $150. And so, they just like to donate that to our donation fund for things that we need, need throughout the year. <coughs> that wasn't like specifically for the SWAT vehicle or anything? No, it's just okay. uh, for my office in general. Is there a motion to uh, allow the sheriff to accept those two donations? I move we approve the donations to the sheriff's office. Second. Second. It could have gone the other way because he was talking first, but it makes me know the difference. But anyway, all right. All in favor? There you go. Item C is Vance Hill County Sheriff consideration of possible approval of employee changes. We did one last week, I believe. Right. And uh, if these four are approved, I have four jail staff that were in the process of hiring. Two we've already hired and two that's going to start in a couple of days. So we're just going to be down to jail staff. So we're looking at your commissioner, Trey Wick, and getting your guy December the 2nd. That's kind of what we're looking at. Um, get these folks trained and get a road crew back into your precinct. Uh, the first uh, employee change we have is we're hiring Rainita Brown at the annual rate of 32000 She is replacing Valentine Aceveda, who was approved at 30000 Jailer. Jailer. Okay. Uh, the next one, we're hiring Trenton Best at the annual rate of 32000 He's replacing Christopher McBride, who was also at the rate of 32000 uh, The next one, we're hiring Julia Richardson at the rate of 32000 per year, and she is replacing Jacob Levy at the same annual salary. Our next one, we're hiring Mickey Byford at the 32000 per year rate, and he is replacing Angela Saxton, who was making 32356 per year. 
And that's the four changes that I have, Commissioners. Yes, ma'am. Does anyone make a motion concerning the, the, the four employee changes in the, in the Sheriff's Office? I have a motion to approve the employee change in the Sheriff's Office. Yeah, second. I have a second over here from Larry. This time, I don't know. So y'all are off. Y'all are like bang right on each other. All, right. all in favor? All right. That item passes. That brings us to item D. It's once again the sheriff presentation of jail report. Uh, we currently have 166 inmates. 11 of those are contract. Well, you're down then. Just a tad. Thank you. That's it, huh? Yes, sir. Thank you, sheriff. Thank, Thank you very much. That is the last item on the agenda, but we got some papers to sign, so we'll be here in a minute. A few more. Oh, no, it's not. we got to pay the bills because I jumped past them. Excuse me. There you go, Larry. I go to Sharon, I presume. Yes. There's the jail report. Yes, here. it does. bills today. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? The bills are paid. Uh, without anything else, I guess uh, we will adjourn until. Did you do the not. It wasn't on here, but we're going to get it next week. It was a, little, a small snafu, but not a big issue. Okay. Did we sign the. Uh. David, do you know if we need to meet? As far as I know, we don't. There's no need to. Uh, Did we already see one other right now? Oh, sorry. You must look at while I look at that right. Forgive me. So what say? No? Bill paying? I think we're fine. Um, if not, we'll let Larry. you know. Larry. But I think we should be fine. Well, we have so many right today. Go to December 2nd. Um, well, we'll make it tentatively for December 2nd. Unless something comes up in the meantime, we can call one. So, is there a motion to adjourn until December 2nd at 9 a.m.? So moved. So I have a second? Yeah. Here we go. All in favor? <laughs> I only got a third. Well, uh, you didn't get you missed your citizens' comments, but is it concerning any particular item or something, or what is it? May I ask, I mean, because I'm not trying to shut you off. I just didn't know what it was about. Ma'am? We've already adjourned. We've already adjourned. It depends on what it's entailed, I guess. Well, you remember uh, we came in to do a uh, ask for a request for money for the Salvation Army? Uh-huh. Well, this time of the year, uh, we, we uh, are doing the bell ringing. Okay. And we're talking to Icon in Brownwood, like each individual here, about uh, helping support us ring that bell. It would make it real easy. All you have to do is, is uh, go to registertoring.com. Okay. All right. I was afraid you want to talk about an agenda item, and we've already passed. It. No, no. I just, I just uh, solicited for bell ringers. That's all I'm doing. Thank you. And, yeah, and you guys are, uh, have been, been a long. great support. I run out. <laughs> okay. Thank you, hey, well, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to shut you off. I was trying to make sure we were perfect.
I'm also with uh, Workforce Solutions now. Yeah. If there's any employment needs, I take care of the employers. It's my job. And it's free. It's uh, paid for by the state of Texas. So uh, um, I'm, I'm just bending over backwards trying to get out and meet everybody. Do you have an extra card? Yes, I do. Appreciate it. There you go. All right, we'll see y'all uh, soon. Uh, the sheriff will want to come to us. There's one more sheriff. Come to us at a time about the shelters. Oh, yeah. Right, you can.